Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome Chess Rabbit here and what we're going to be doing is doing a roster review for July 2020 and we're going to see who is in the top 10 this month as compared to last month. <clears throat> um, the people who are out of the top 20 are Shield Medic, Elsa Bloodstone, Storm, Elektra, and Captain America, which means there are five new people into the top 20. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get to it. At number 20, Iron Man, he drops down six spots from last month. Iron Man. I'm going to go through the first 11 through 20 pretty quickly, and we're going to get to the last 10, and from there we'll do some. Number 19, Luke Cage. He is new. So, he is the one that replaced one of those other characters. He is new. He just got the 6664, and boom. He's unfavorited, so now he is in the top 20 at number 19. At number 18, another new character, Mordo. Also, 6664, level 60, 6 stars. Put him up to 6 stars along with Sif last month, and I am waiting to open up Phoenix and Black Bolt at 6 stars. Two legendaries at 6 stars. I want to open them both up. Well, Phoenix, you have to open up at 6 stars, but Black Bolt is a 5 star unlock. And I'm trying to unlock him at six stars because I have three of my five Asgardians at six stars right now. The only two that are not at six stars, Loki and Hela. Number 17, also new, I unlocked him uh, about a month ago, maybe. Anyway, Mr. Sinister. I like playing with this guy. He's pretty good in rage, but he's also he's awesome in war. Um, I put him right now with the X Force team. Um, I don't have X23, so I put him in there with the other four, and he's pretty good with them. But he's, as you can see, he's a lot higher than them. The other guys are nowhere near his strength. But I sort of like Mr. Sinister on that team. I don't run an Inhumans team, so. Who cares? I do what I want to do with him. But he's new at number 17. Punisher, number 16. Down three from last month. But, as you can see, he has five, six red stars. I have yet not yet him to the five red stars or the six red stars. But I am working on it. I am still trying to farm the Kree. For Nick Fury and I am farming Loki for Phoenix. Um, Hella, I got a, I pulled a bunch of shards from Hella as you can see in my last video. The Domino Orbs pull, I think it was the Domino Orbs pull. No, 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 it was the NTW Orbs pull that I put a lot of Hella shards. I put like 24 Hella shards from there. So if I can keep doing that, pulling Hella from these orbs, I could probably get her a six star without farming her because I haven't built up my aim team yet to go through villain 7172 or 73 so I I can't farm Hella right now. 15 Sif. Hey I unlocked Sif to three stars. She jumped into the war store, been buying her credits ever since and now she's a six star. Boom. A lot of people say don't buy you know that but a lot of people are crying about Sif being in the war store. Hey I got her from three to six no problem because right now I'm a mid game player so I don't need the war store for the orange pieces like the like the other guys who've been playing like two years they they don't you know they don't like Mr. Sinister and Sip and all these guys in the war store you know so me I don't care I don't need the orange pieces right now I'm still cool so I can, I can use my war store credits for Building up people like this. And now Sif is at six stars. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to use no more war credits to to build her up. So yeah. It's working out fine for me so far. But when I get up to their status, I'll probably be crying about people in the war store too. But for right now, hey, I love I love them being in the war store. Gotta her get her up to six stars before almost any of the other Asgardians. She was the first one up to six stars. 
Number 14, Shield of Salt. Up four from last month because she gained a star. I think she was four stars last month. Now she is five stars. She has five red stars, so that boosted her up a lot. So, yeah. She moved up four spots from last month. Shield of Salt. Go ahead, Shield of Salt. Number 13, Doctor Strange down one from last month. Not much movement. He's still pretty much where he was before. Not much movement in Doctor Strange. So, hey, good for you. At number 12, the Unlock, who just came to be Star-Lord. And within the week, I put him up to 6664. As a matter of fact, I think I have a T4 on him, which is why he's level 64. I have a T4 on his passive, which means he always gains energy ability, one or two, always, to one of his allies that's adjacent to him. So, yeah, I put him up 6664 and T4 him. I don't know what gear tier he's at, uh, 9, 8, 9, something like that, 8, 9, 10. I don't know, somewhere around there. I really don't know. But, yeah, Star-Lord, just like that. One week he was, I was I'm unlocking him and... I put everything into him because I wanted him to be in my U6 raid team. And he's not the greatest in there. I mean, I have him next to Minerva. And I put him next to Hela also because I want him to feed Hela so she can do her art a lot quicker. But I think I like him better next to Minerva than Hela. So anyway, there you have that. I think he, I think he made the highest jump also. I mean, he's number 12 on the list. And he just got on the list. So that's that's a pretty high jump. Number 11, Quake. She stayed, She was number 11 last month. She's number 11 this month. Not much movement. Uh, movement in her power, of course. Because, you know, I, I put, you know, get one or two abilities up. But, yeah, she was 11 last month. Now she's 11 this month. Now we're going into the top 10. So let's see the movement in the top 10. Number 10, Wolverine. He's my only 7-star character I have right now. I'm probably going to be like that for a couple of months. So, you know, once I get to 6, I'm going to stop farming a lot of these guys and let orbs take care of it. And if they just get to 7, then they just get to 7. Um, I probably should farm some of these guys, especially out of the arena store. So, not out of the arena store, but like maybe out of the wood store to get them up to 7 so I can, like... So when they pop up in ultimate show, I mean in shards, maybe they can beat ultimates and I can get him quicker and unlock him. But then again, I'm not really worried about ultimates because, you know, it doesn't seem that nobody likes him anyway. So if I open him, I open him. If not, if not, who cares? Number nine, Scientist Supreme. She moved up from, she moved up one spot from last month. Not much of a movement. But hey, she's still in the top 10, and she's a top 10 character in the game, and she's a top 10 character for me. Number 8, Magneto. Also no movement. 8 last month, 8 this month. Although, you see all these little green dots here? I did that for my nerve. I see a green dot, and then you go for my lowest. And then I work my way up until I get to the highest and sometimes the green dots happen with Minerva and boom Minerva was gear tier 13 we'll talk more about that when we get to Minerva number 7 Night Nurse up 2 from last month now the reason why she's up 2 because I think if you notice I think she was 4 stars last month now she's 5 or she may have moved up a gear tier or because other people moved down she moved up but anyway she moved up she's number seven now go figure night nurse number seven hey it is what it is waiting for her rework by the way number six loki down two he was he was up there at number four last week. Now he's down. Um, I think he's the my first forty thousand character that's going on here. In the yeah, because Night Nurse is thirty eight thousand. So yeah, we're getting into the forties now. And also, if you noticed last month that Shield Medic was at twenty eight thousand, and now my lowest is like thirty thousand. So 
hey, the power of creep is coming up even on me every month. So this is going to be interesting to see. I wish I'd have done this from the beginning, but we'll see how this plays out. It's, it's, it began to be a little interesting to watch my top 20 characters and how they fluctuate. Anyway, Loki, number six, down two. At number five, Thanos. He is also down two from last month. Hey, I like Thanos. Um, I put a T4 in his passive, I believe, and I think I'm going to T4 his other three abilities only because when he becomes empowered, empowered Thanos has a totally different kit than regular Thanos. It's like there's two separate characters there, sort of like Phoenix and Dark Phoenix. They're two separate characters, so once he's empowered, he's a totally different character and he requires totally different T4 mannerisms. And so far, all of the content creators have T4 all of his abilities, or will T4 all of his abilities. So, even though regular Thanos doesn't um, really need those T4s and his basics and stuff like that, but in Power Thanos, is a different story. So yeah, I'm going to have to T4 him, so when we get Ebony Maw, he'll be all ready and set. So, we'll, 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 we'll reach the Black Order when we get to it. I actually have everybody for the Black Order right now, except Ebony Maw. So, when I unlock Black Bolt at 6 stars, and then we'll take the Inhumans that I have and put them, and we can get Ebony Maw, boom, everybody will be happy. Number four, Captain Marvel. She's up one. She was a top five last month. Top five this month. She moved up one. Hey, probably because she moved up. She was a four star. Now she's a five star. Didn't take her up a lot, but it was enough. I believe that's what happened. Um, so, yeah, she moved up one. Number three, Minerva. Like I said, for some reason, Minerva is gear tier 13. I had no idea why I saw the I saw the little green plus sign. I pushed it. It was the last one for that kit, and it said boom, gear tier 13. Now I have a gear tier 13 Minerva. It's going on gear tier 14 with I even have one piece for that. It's going to be interesting to see how much more power she's going to gain next month because this month is Minerva month. We're getting 55 more shards of Minerva and as you can see that will make her a 5 star character. So yes, I'm going to see how much more my little 5 star character. She'll probably be about 50,000 so she may be number 1 next month. We will see. In August she may be number 1. Number two, down one, Ella. Hey, I have a long way to go to make her a six star character, but she's probably going to be the last six star character of the Asgardians. I just picked up 24, 25 shards on her from the orb opening. So she's getting closer, she's getting closer. Um, I can't farm her yet, so I'm hoping these orbs, I'm getting these one or two orbs here and there will really bring her up to six stars. Um, hopefully I won't have to buy an offer. I will spend cores on an offer though if she has some, an offer like that. I may spend cores, so I may save some cores and what that 675 and plus 675 is like 1500 cores you have to spend on her just to get what maybe 12 stars. Anyway, I do it though. So she's down one. She was my last, she was my um, Number one last month. This month she's down number two. So who's number one? Ghost Rider. The reason why? Because he's been promoted to six stars. So now Ghost Rider is a six red star character. He is also my first 50,000 character. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ghost Rider number one. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, for my top 20 July 2020. See you next month in the Chess Rabbit Roster Review.